Jordan vows to avenge Pilate's death. As if execution video emerges Jordan has vowed to avenge the killing of its Air Force pilot Mose all cast off bait by Islamic State is militants. This comes after an is video appeared to show him being burned alive. Jordan confirmed the death, although the video's authenticity is being checked. Officials told reporters a convicted jihadist Jordan had tried to exchange for the pilot would be executed. The 26-year-old pilot was seized when his plane came down in Syria in December during a mission against island Mam al Amiri, a spokesman for the Jordanian Armed Forces, said on Tuesday that Lt. Kassaf Bey had fallen as a martyr. His blood will not be shed in vain. Our punishment and revenge will be as huge as the loss of the Jordanians. Jordan's King Abdullah. It is every Jordanian's duty to stand together. The army also promised an earth-shattering response to his death. Jordanian State TV reported that Lt. Kassaf Bey was killed a month ago. Since then Jordan had tried to secure his release as part of a prisoner swap, offering to free failed suicide bomber Sabida al-Rashai in exchange. Rashai, an Iraqi national, is on death row for her role in attacks in the capital, Amman, that killed 60 people in 2005. Jordanian officials are quoted as saying she would now be executed along with, with three other convicted militants. Is had sought her release as part of a deal to free captive Japanese journalist Kanji Goto. The video that appeared to show Goto's dead body appeared four days ago. In Wednesday, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said he had felt an intense sense of anger when hearing that the Jordanian pilot had been horrifically burned to death. Mr. Abe expressed his solidarity with the Jordanian people and vowed not to bow to terrorism. The video purportedly showing the pilot was posted online on Tuesday. It was distributed via a Twitter account known as a source for its propaganda. The highly produced 22-minute film shows what militants say is the pilot standing in a cage engulfed in flames. The BBC's security correspondent, Frank Gardner, says it is aimed at a world already shocked by the calculated cruelty of Islamic State's actions. Jordan's King Abdullah hailed Lt. Kassaf Bey as a hero saying Jordan must stand united in the face of hardship. The king decided to cut short a visit to the U.S. after news of the pilot's death, but he met President Barack Obama on Tuesday evening before flying home. Mr. Obama earlier said that if the video was real, it would be one more indication of the viciousness and barbarity of Ireland. I think it will redouble the vigilance and determination on the part of the global coalition to make sure they are degraded and ultimately defeated, Mr. Obama said.